What's Gucci YouTube? It has definitely been a while since my last video. It's your boy Black Gucci got three long face, skinny body, and we back still black with some more fire boards on anime manga content. For you in the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash the like button, share the video with your friends, and let's hop into the discussion. Yes, sir, ski. Nine mountains and eight seas make one world. One thousand worlds make one trillion. For those of y'all who do celebrate, I hope y'all have been having a good holiday so far and a good holidays uh, yet to come. Man, bro, last week has been like so jam-packed with mad different things I've been needed to take care of. So I took a whole full damn near six, seven day break from YouTube. But we back at it like some crack addicts because we got a lot to discuss about. Man, chapter 75 from Boruto uh, just left us with so many different discussions. And one of the first few things I want to, you know, open up in the field of discussions to talk about the flash forward scene. Obviously, the now famous flash forward scene that we've seen Boruto go through towards the end of Boruto chapter 75, where more than likely, uh, you know what I'm saying, I'm pretty positive that, you know, we see all of the hostility from the random Joni searching outside of the village, Team 10, you know, making certain specific dialogue in terms of you're not supposed to be doing whatever was, was done to a friend. You know, we have Mitsuki telling someone he's been truly angered by that person. And we know Mitsuki only gets angry and especially to that level of, you know, whipping out a fucking sage mode, let alone in the anime, but in the manga for that much, it, it has to revolve around Boruto for his anger or his emotion to even spark or spike that high in any case of scenario for the Mitsuki we've known up until this point and then we see finally Kawaki you know we also see shots of Boruto with his uh Byakugan it appears to be like you know possibly Boruto's point of view but then it starts to get a little tricky you know when you start incorporating the dialogue and things like that and people taking into consideration well if Boruto's dealing with this whole Momoshiki thing if it is Boruto you know they wouldn't really be talking to Momoshiki as Boruto in a sense with that hostility when we're referring to Shikarai like yo that's not not something you do to a friend but then we look at kawaki this nigga got blood on his face you know he's fully transformed in his osasuki form kawaki doesn't need that form to box against shikarai kawaki doesn't need that form to box against any random motherfucking jonin in the league kawaki doesn't shouldn't need that form i'm gonna give mitsuki some respect he shouldn't need that form against motherfucking satan let alone a sage mode mitsuki and a fully pumped up showering on so i don't give a fuck Kawaki could go karma version too. He doesn't need the horn to go true essence. He doesn't need his dojutsu if order. He's fighting all of these people that we've seen in the flash forward scene, which then leads me to the conclusion is that it was Kawaki versus Boruto. Versus Boruto. Now, the thing of Mitsuki finding out about Boruto's death, I don't feel like that's something that's going to anger Mitsuki to the point where as soon as he hears about the things that happen in chapter 66, he's going to go full on sage mode and the entire village is going to go search for Kawaki. That's not going to be the case because the mere fact is the higher ups and the higher officials are the ones of aware of the situation that went down with Kawaki killing Boruto and they have no protocol of any sort or any such of the matter for them to apprehend or reprehend uh kawaki just for the mere fact he killed boruto back in chapter 66 so upon mitsuki and sarada and others finding out possibly definitely going to be a shocker but we see the blood is fresh on kawaki's face we see the situation where boruto has his byakugan activated um all right now we can say 50 50 but in the past prior to the before chapter 66 you know whenever boruto had his byakugan activated seven eight times out of ten it was likely momoshiki that was you know there in the midst doing whatever he needed to be done so we can see the situation where in this future and not even making it seem like it's time skip territory possibly within Boruto's timeline this can happen the next day this can happen next week but for us definitely possibly within the next couple of chapters you know we see the fallout start to happen and the things that go down with Boruto finally getting betrayed by Kawaki you know one of the things that was always interesting to me is when we first started off especially around the time where we got that famous panel with Naruto hugging Kawaki after Kawaki had this little PTS breakdown moment, a lot of people start to question, what can make this guy Kawaki so mad, right? <laughs> that we see him, like how he is in episode one of the anime, episode one of the manga, him and Boruto are, what it appears to be, are fighting to the death, meaning the winner is going to be the winner and the loser is likely going to be dead by the end of that fight. What pushes him to that breaking point? And I feel like people haven't been asking that question enough for the mere fact that we found all of these incentives with Kawaki's grudge against Amado and Kawaki's grudge against Momoshiki, where it's like Kawaki isn't 
as hateful towards Momoshiki to the point where just because he killed Boruto, which mind you, it was both Kawaki and Boruto's plan in order to do so, it's not like soon as he, you know, senses Momoshiki, if that was the case, when he sends Momoshiki back in chapter uh, 74 or 73, I believe, he would have attacked Boruto on site instead. No, to our knowledge, he kept that information to himself, possibly thinking maybe he's just tripping or just waiting and letting the situation play out. Kawaki is definitely the type to, once he makes up his mind, that's the decision he's rolling with, but he's not rash he's not a something that's like all right let me just do this and do it real quick but no once he says all right i'm gonna do this yeah that is gonna be done so he's not gonna simply be like oh you know what since momoshiki is still around baruto can possibly be a threat to naruto so i'm gonna go rogue and leave the village i don't see kawaki turn if that was the case it is so it like it just does so much little for his character and it just doesn't complete his character at all there's something much deeper on a grand scheme of things where amada revealing all of this information about kawaki's karma being constructed with his daughter's dna a lot of implications lying behind the history between amado and kawaki and even sprinkling whatever the fuck true objective ada has it's going to be a lot of things that push kawaki possibly even the village itself forcing Kawaki out of the village, forcing his hand in a sense where Kawaki never leaves the village in a sense where he possibly is just kicked out of the village where as in a situation where Naruto goes MIA, I'm not, I don't believe Naruto will die for the rest of the series, but in a situation where Naruto goes MIA, wherever Kawaki sent him that we've seen in the future, a midst of that happening, he loses the trust of the village. He loses the trust of whatever, you know, the higher ups and Shikamaru ultimately they make the call or maybe even coming from the feudal Lord in the point where it's like the village now is the village word i.e naruto's word versus the feudal's lord i.e the land of fire you know the hokage cannot go against by any means against the uh, feudal lord even though we understand naruto and the feudal lord are on good terms you know it could come like where some type of government official higher up political party sees the threat of kawaki and deem it worldly to the point where like this nigga needs to be exterminated fuck naruto's good graces fuck being a child of prophecy we don't have no respect for lord seventh no more so to that point where kawaki to no avail is thrown out the village thrown out a possibly society where he feels like all right now i have to reconstruct society where it comes from the famous line you know what i'm saying the age of shinobi is over when he's talking to boruto but bro it's just going even further it's just so much more you can bring out of that however in this point where we see in the flash forward scene i believe this is going to be the start of Kawaki going rogue. And I do not believe it's simply because Momoshiki is popping up. Maybe it's just that Momoshiki pops up and he goes completely ape shit. But even if that's the case, I don't see that happening. And then the way everybody is still so hostile. And I'm not saying it's Kawaki for sure, but the way the panels are set up in that flash forward scene, it looks like everybody's talking towards Kawaki and looking for Kawaki. But even if that was the case, and Momoshiki decided to attack everybody in the village, nobody is going to be defending Momoshiki Boruto's body to that degree, to that nature just for the mere fact that Kawaki was defending himself or possibly protecting someone in the village and against Boruto's slash Momoshiki's attack. So it's, it's, it's a whole lot more deeper understanding to it. And then the fact that Mitsuki is so pissed off lets you know, like, all right, it definitely revolves around Boruto. This nigga Mitsuki is in sage mode, but it's a matter of like the real details, the real get down as to what happened, what triggered it, and you know, what's causing everything to continue to go forward. But let me know y'all thoughts below, how y'all feel about the entire situation, man. This nigga Kawaki is going to betray Boruto boruto in the near future and this nigga mitsuki is right there in the mix with it boy until my next video holla at your boy uh share the video with your friends leave your comments below and i'ma holla at y'all black chair out yes sir ski we take a trip to the sky show them that our limits too high coco by the hips on the west she said